Adwan Safo is really spot on. She's, she's a tactful politician. You know, I indicated that whoever advised her to write a letter in that tone is, is very shrewd and, and, and a good politician for that matter. The tone of the letter is quite reconciliatory. And she's, she's tactfully ensured that she does not and, uh, and get a displeasure of the leadership of the party, as it were. There are others who think that she has certain information that is virtually what kept her on as a minister. And if that is the case and she's written something of that sort, I think that she's coming in with an olive branch. Now, that aside, she, her behavior and the letter has equally or will equally unsettle the minority as it, as it stands now because uh, it is only time will tell if the letter, the tone of it is a sincere one. We, we are yet to see whether, yes, she's not going to caucus with the minority. She will still caucus with the majority. But when it comes to voting and other things, probably if it's a secret one, nobody can tell. And that will also uh, be informed by the position going forward of the majority, whether they still want her out or they will also accept the, the only brand that she, she's brought. If she's going to stand independent, then the NDC will back her. And because it is, it is tactically prudent that they, they, they back Adjosafu to win, you know, because she's going to get sympathy vote. The economy is not good, and so people are really disgruntled and angry. You have many MPP faithfuls who wouldn't go and vote because they wouldn't want to vote for the NDC candidate. And so it is very dicey. The other thing, too, is that if she contests as independent and you have an MPP and NDC decides to contest, there is more likelihood that the NDC will scale through because you will still have the disgruntled uh, or disgruntled members who are against the status quo, and then you will have those who are opposed to her. They will have a split, and then the NDC candidate will sail through. Other than that, I think I will advise the MPP to tone down because the economy is not good, and it's not a good time to have you know, a by-election on your hands. They will lose miserably.